Hey everybody, welcome to Vintage Variety. Not too long ago, I posted a Goodwill Blue Box Jewelry Repurpose Box unboxing. And I mentioned in the video that that was the second Goodwill Blue Box I had purchased. If you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link to it below. But the reason I decided to purchase a second box was because the first box was not half bad. I felt like I got some really decent pieces of jewelry. And this is that first box. I sorted through it and I had set it to the side and really hadn't thought much about it until I did the content on the second box I purchased. The second box was basically just a box of garbage. Um, that box came from Florida. This box came from Ohio. And I thought I would just share the contents of this box with you guys today and talk a little bit about it. So I did sort through the stuff that was in this box. And it's not a bad box. This is a watch by Fossil. So that's one piece. Um, and there are some broken pieces. This is a piece that's broken. It was a magnetic bracelet. So, you know, that's not something that I would say is really worth keeping. Now, this is not bad. This is a necklace that was in the box, and it's wearable. It's not signed. Um, this is just more modern type costume jewelry, but there's no stones missing from it. So, this is something that I think that someone would like to wear. Here's a really cute pair of earrings. Here's another necklace. Again, there's nothing wrong with this. It might be something someone would wear. This is the bottom part of it. It looks like a little tassel. This necklace is beads and it's leather. And it's put out by ink. It's not dirty, so again, this is something that somebody might wear. And then here we have some bracelets. Three of these are stretch bracelets. Have a little silver tone cuff bracelet. Gold bracelet. There's another one of those gold bracelets. Here's a pair of hoop earrings. Another bracelet. This is a stretch bracelet, but it's broken as you can see. I'll go ahead and show you the bottom of the box. The items that are in the bottom of the box, we have these. This is like a set of earrings. These are beaded necklaces and they don't have a clasp. There are a few more bracelets. This one's kind of strange looking. Let's see if I can untangle that. This is a bracelet. Another bracelet. This is some kind of plastic cuff bracelet. So most of the items that are at the bottom of this are just items. I guess it would be okay. I mean, if it was something you wanted to repurpose. Here's a little pen, a label pen. This may be something that someone made. Here's a little bracelet, it's got a monogram on it. A little pendant. It's another bracelet, a pair of earrings. This is a little necklace with a silver tone necklace. It has a, it's like a leopard skin charm on it. Now, this is a nice 1950s necklace. Show you the clasp. It's not missing any rhinestones. It has the hook clasp. It's triple strands. And these are faceted glass beads. This is a nice vintage necklace. 
This is a little brooch that was in there. It's very lightweight. It's a gold tone, unsigned. Here's another little silver tone brooch. Here's a pair of earrings. These are cute. I did test the stones. They are not real, of course. Here's one of those little bracelet charms. Um, kind of like a copycat Pandora bracelet charm. Another little ring, costume jewelry ring. It has a glass stone. This is a nice little vintage Avon piece. Let's see if I can find where it's signed so you guys can see that, that it's Avon. And it has all these little charms on it. We have an owl. Um, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's supposed to look like a coffee grinder or something. A little vanity chair, cowboy boot, a telephone, and I guess this is a teapot. So that's a nice little vintage bracelet. And here is a little bolo type necklace. Show you the ends of it. It's not signed, but there's nothing wrong with it. It does need to be cleaned. Now this I like, this is vintage. I'm not sure how old this is. This is the clasp on this. It is sterling. I did test this. Has the cantile work on it. And a black stone. It could be an onyx. This is a nice vintage piece. Here's another little pin. Probably like a tie tack pin. This is a costume jewelry ring. I think it has a mark on it somewhere. Let me zoom in and see what it says. Just looks like a an arrow maybe. So I'm not sure of the brand of this. It does have a little bit of wear on it. Not too bad. This is a spoon ring. It's not silver. It looks like something that might have at one time been silver plate um, over brass, and you can see that's worn off. These are signed Leah Sophia. These are cute. So a lot of resellers buy these boxes, and I'm thinking, you know, if I were a reseller, I have been a reseller in the past. Many years ago, I used to sell on eBay. I could probably get my money's worth out of this box. I might not get back a lot. Um, but if I were a reseller and I listed some of these pieces that I didn't plan to keep, or maybe if I lotted some of them together and then took the broken pieces like these and put those in a lot for someone that does jewelry crafting and things like that. I could probably get my money back and maybe a little bit extra. Now, these I believe are, this is a somebody's 15 year pin. These I think are Bakelite and I'm gonna test these and I will do that at the end of this video so you guys can see if they are Bakelite or not. And there's a black pair, too. And I've heard a lot of people say that it's hard to get a good result when you test black Bakelite. So I don't know how good a test on those will be, but I will test those at the end of this video. A lot of mismatched earrings. And I know a lot of people like to buy lots of these. So these could be easily lotted together. Um, I know some people like to take these mismatched earrings and do jewelry crafts with them, like they'll make a picture out of them. And it, I wish 
they weren't mismatched because look at this. This is a really nice clip-on earring. See a signature on it, but it, it is. It's really nice. Here's another clip-on. This one was Napier. This one I'm kind of curious about. So, don't know. Maybe I'll test this too. Here's another clip-on, another Napier. So these could easily be lotted up and sold if you were a reseller um, for somebody that wanted to repurpose them or use them for crafts. I've seen people take these, as I was saying before, and make really pretty pictures out of them and frame them. Um, I don't see anything wrong with doing that if you're just using rings that do not have any mates. Boucher. How do you say that, guys? I've heard of that brand before. I think it's Boucher. Boucher. It's a good vintage brand to collect, unfortunately. It does not have a mate. On. Isn't that one pretty? It has this mother of pearl on it. In a previous video, there's a lot you can do with single clip-on earrings. You can turn them into necklace pendants. Now, I love this one, and I so wish that this one would have had a mate to it. Look how pretty that is. And I think this one's West Germany. Yes, West Germany. Beautiful earring. Here's another necklace. This one is silver and gold tone. Nothing wrong with it. It's wearable. Now, I like this one, guys. This one's pretty. It's a double strand. And... See, it has little stones and some glass beads. This is a really pretty necklace. It's modern or relatively modern. Nothing wrong with that. Here's another necklace. It has little tiny seed beads. It's not signed. This one's pretty. Show you guys the clasp on it. It's a silver tone and it has these little hearts and these little dangles. Cute. This one's very long. It's done in a black, it looks like kind of gunmetal, and it has these little tassels. Look at this cute little figural fish pen. It's in really good condition. And this is by Napier. So this is one that I will keep. I will add this to my collection. And here's another one. This is a cute little red bow pen. And this one's not marked. It has a little mark right here, and it's just an R. So I'm not sure about this one. If you are, you can let me know in the comments. Here's a cute little angel. Looks like some of the paint's wearing off of the wings of this little girl is marked so that's jerry's she's a cute little brooch looks very christmasy this one says zentile this is not a brand that i'm familiar with but it's a little figural brooch it looks like a little grasshopper and then we have this this brooch and this is a sarah coventry piece and I wish I would have remembered this box because I recently did some content on Sarah Coventry and this is a piece that I would have included in that content. And this is a little necklace. Let me show you the signature on there. It doesn't state that it's gold or gold plated, I don't think. Let's see. Here's another Little ring and the costume jewelry. Here's another cute little figural brooch. This little jelly belly. And it's a little owl. 
There's no signature on this little brooch, but I really like him. So I wanted to show you guys this because either I got really lucky or you don't always get bad stuff in these boxes. And I've watched other YouTubers. I've seen their videos on these boxes. And I don't think you always get stuff that's bad in them. Um, is it worth it for me? No, it's not. I'm not a reseller. Now, I have had people ask me in comments, do I ever plan to sell any of my vintage or antique jewelry? And the answer is yes. Right now, no. But I started collecting mainly because I liked vintage and antique jewelry. And I thought it was a decent hobby. It's not a hobby that I put loads of money into because I can't afford to. But I thought, you know, when I get older and I retire, the pieces that I'm really not attached to and that I don't want to keep, I may very well list those pieces, go back to selling on eBay and list those pieces for sale just to have a little bit of extra money when I do retire. So that's my plan. And that's something I plan to do in the future. And I just wanted to answer that question for those of you that were interested in knowing that. So now I'm going to try to test some of these pieces. And let's see what the result will be. Um, I'm going to try to test these earrings right here to see if they are Bakelite. So I'm going to test these. This is... Semi-chrome polish. I purchased this off of Amazon. I have shown it in a previous video and it doesn't take very much. I have just put a little bit on the end of this Q-tip and this, this is a really pale, pale, pale pink. About the same color as the plastic part of this Q-tip. And I really have more on this than I need. I'll wipe a little bit of that off. And I'm gonna test the green earring first, and I'm gonna test on the inside. This is an abrasive, so you wanna test in an area that it's not gonna show up as a scratch or something on the jewelry, so I'm just gonna test on the inside of this earring. And this is the result. So these earrings, these green ones, these are Bakelite, y'all. See how it has that yellow, pale yellow, almost nicotine color to it? So that's what I was looking for. And so these are Bakelite. So I've got a fresh Q-tip and now I'm gonna test these black earrings. And I mentioned earlier, a lot of people say that it's really hard to test black Bakelite, that sometimes the test doesn't come out right. So we're just gonna rub these and we're gonna see. Nothing. I tried the rub test. And the rub test, I believe I've shown this before, you just rub the piece until your finger gets really hot um, or the piece gets really warm. And then you kind of smell of the piece. And if it has a formaldehyde smell, then it is most likely Bakelite. And believe it or not, this piece does. It has a really strong formaldehyde smell. Too bad they don't have smell-o-vision, guys. Oh yeah. So I believe these are Bakelite, even though the test didn't come out. I don't see any change at all. But just going by the smell, I believe that these are Bakelite. So I wanna thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video and to share these items with me. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more videos about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.